Okay, let's have a look what's in the casino. Oh, sorry, hell, it's the Pegasi Reaper. Bloody hell, as if anybody ever wanted to win that sorry vehicle. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll go and spin the lucky wheel anyway, then, from the Reaper. With a little bit of luck, we'll get uh, some free clothing or perhaps some RP. Yes, that'd be very nice, you know. Much, much more preferable to the Pegasi Reaper. Here we go, then. Okay, you know what? You know, uh, perhaps 10,000 chips would suffice, you know. Certainly better than that wretched sorry car, you know. Can't believe I wasted my money on that vehicle in the back. Oh, sodding hell, bloody hell, sodding Pegasi Reaper. Okay, well, I suppose I'm going to send it up to Hillcrest then, aren't I? Yes, bloody typical. Right, ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and today I have just gone and won a Pegasi Reaper. And the Pegasi Reaper, ladies and gentlemen, can normally be found under the legendary Motorsport website. And as you can see, we are scrolling all the way down, and there we go. Okay, the Pegasi Reaper, retailing for a price of $1,595,000, that's one six million dollars let's be quite frank about these things ladies and gentlemen and yes the vehicle is no longer there you know, okie dokie uh yes i know we're not going to be able to go up to maze bank offices to speak to and sort my secretary ladies and gentlemen uh, we're just going to get right on with it as we uh as we won the vehicle in the casino and how about that it's mr raccoon hello old boy how you doing yeah it's looking rather scruffy for a casino you know i know i'll allow that you know but anyway i think we'll uh, we'll catch up with mr raccoon later in the moment we're gonna uh, head on up to hillcrest ladies and gentlemen and we're gonna get there in the uh in the pegasi tempesto don't you know uh, another one of the pegasis uh, and uh, sort of a uh, uh, broadly similar performance I find to many of the Pegasus, you know. Oops, uh, it seems to have done a bit of damage to it. Don't know how that could have happened. Anyway, never mind. Let's just uh, carry on then, shall we? Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are inside the uh, the Hillcrest garage now, and as you can see, another orange Pegasi, ladies and gentlemen. And this time, that's the Reaper you're looking at, not the Tempesto. Okay, there we go. What do we think? Well, it's a rather mean-looking car, right? Oof, and you know, I do. Uh, I'm really rather taken by the styling, particularly uh, that flunder, the, the front flaring there. You know, rather rather interesting. The sides very good. The back end's a bit wrong, but you know, uh, generally speaking, ladies and gentlemen, I very much am taken by the styling of this vehicle one of the finer looking pegasus in my opinion you know okay well there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the pegasi reba let's take it out on the street and see how she handles an acceleration up that top hill yeah uh, first hill not particularly good ladies and gentlemen we'll see how it goes uh, we'll check out the handling as it goes down uh, through the pinewood hills here okay right little bit heavy right okay little bit wallowy ladies and gentlemen right okay not the best you know uh, whoops it takes a solid hell right okay in a car Right, well, uh, anyway, we'll have a look at that top end speed to see what sort of air we got off these hills. And right, okay, right, that's fair enough. There, we got down to the bottom, and uh, right, okay, so we did make it important both times. And can we hold the corner? Yes, just about, just about, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have a look at that acceleration along the flat again. And it's not too bad, not too bad. And we'll have a look at the stability. And yes, it is really a very, very stable car, ladies and gentlemen. You know, can't, can't fault it for that, you know. Okay, so we'll have a look at that top end speed. We've got. Uh, Given her enough time now to be getting up there, and yes, it does seem to be motoring along. I shall also point out, ladies and gentlemen, of course, that this is the unmodified version. Uh, we're going to go take it on in now, the modified, and see how she handles it. Okay, and sliding, sliding, around right there. Okay, so we're uh, straight out of uh, straight out of the box, ladies and gentlemen. What can one say about the Pegasi Reaper? It's got a, it's got a. Its acceleration is okay, ladies and gentlemen. Its top end speed is appreciable. It feels uh, the handling, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit heavy. You know, d dull, uh, unresponsive, and heavy. I do uh, l uh, lament to have to inform you. Whoops, okay, can't, can't seem to go ahead and put it in there, can I now? Okay, I'll just go full. I will go ahead and try one more time. Yes, there we go. Okay, yes, yeah, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at the Maze Bank offices. We're going to take it on into the custom auto shop now, and I'm going to have the vehicle modified. Okay, so uh, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through the standard uh, sort of performance-related upgrades, and then we'll go into the more aesthetic stylings that can be modified to this vehicle, and I can assure you uh, that amounts, uh, as far as I am aware, uh, the sum total of that, ladies and gentlemen, is the spoiler. You know, I mean, absolutely shocking if you think about it. You know, you're spending $1.6 million on a vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, and the only option for stylization that uh, Rockstar have seen fit to grant us is... Yes, the spoiler. And if we go through all of those other options there, you can see, ladies and gentlemen, not a sausage, not a sausage, absolutely shocking, you know? What do you think? Well, a secondary color, not too bad. 
Where? Where on God's earth does a secondary colour affect? I can't spot the bloody thing, you know. So it does seem it's only the primary colour, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and so we're going to go through that now and give you an idea what the vehicle looks like in the different hues of the rainbow, so to speak. Uh, but as I say, or I already do own a version of this vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. It's in a matte black with a palestine flip, uh, which I am rather taken with, you know. And so I'm going to go and uh, make a facsimile, you know. Okay, and so there we go. That is uh, the matte black uh, Pegasi, ladies and gentlemen, the Reaper. And as you can see, it's a... It's a uh, we've been up there, and now we're going to, uh, uh, what are we going to do now? All right, okay, yes, now we're going to go put that pleasant flip on it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, if you're not aware, or if you are aware of this, ladies and gentlemen, you may as well go ahead and skip this part of the video. If you're not aware of how to get a pleasant flip on a, uh, on a matte black vehicle, or a matte vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to find out. Okay, so first of all, it cannot, uh, it cannot be uh, undertaken in uh, the custom auto shop, for God knows what reason. One has to bring it to a Los Santos Customs. Okay, we're going to repair the vehicle, and then we're going to go on down to uh, where the bloody hell is it right there we go respray jolly good now we are obviously in a matte ladies and gentlemen a matte black as you can see and so now if we go down to palescent and we try to put the palescent on it okay sorry your vehicle must be a metallic or a cool color or whatever the hell that says okay raspberries to that ladies and gentlemen that's what we say you know so now if we, uh, we go back out we go to metallic and we just sit on metallic we don't purchase one we just sit on a, any metallic for about five seconds something like that three to five seconds uh, and then we pull out ladies and gentlemen we go and make a, a minor modification on the car i'm going to go uh, and change the number plate here as you can see yes there we go we go and change the number plate and now when we go back to respray it oops and this is don't want to leave yes then we go back to respray ladies and gentlemen we go to pearlescent and now yes apparently it's not such a problem to put the pleasant on the mat after all okay rather sneaky that ladies and gentlemen don't know why rockstar insisted on doing that uh, it's, but there we go at least we can still go ahead and do it you know anyway i've chosen to go for a, a dark blue ladies and gentlemen okay there we go so that is uh, the uh, the vehicle fully stylized exactly as i did it on my other video you know there is another video out on this but now we're going to take it on a standard lap okay then ladies and gentlemen here we go this is the uh, whoops and this is got a missing this is the Pegasi Reaper, $1.6 million, let's have a look what we think about it, unfortunately it cut out up the hill there ladies and gentlemen, uh, but going on down the street here, yes you can see, not too bad ladies and gentlemen, not too bad, okay we're getting to the bottom right hand corner now, let's see how she gets around there, and okay, right, jolly good, okay, we can get around there in pretty good corner, I'm looking at the acceleration along the straight here, unless the camera cuts out, and yes, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, not too impressive. It does take a while to reach this top end of speed there. Uh, handling down there, not too bad, but like I say, uh, heavy, uh, unresponsive, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit dull, you know. Uh, and stability is perfectly fine, ladies and gentlemen. So acceleration only okay. Top end speed, appreciable, very good. Handling, yes, that's again where it all goes wrong, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Dull, unresponsive, and heavy. That's about all that I can say about it. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're going to uh, take it on up uh, to the custom. No, we're going to take it on up uh, to the top speed test track now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we're going to put it down here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and now uh, uh, eagle eyes uh, viewers may be able to spot that I've accidentally pulled out my old reaper, you know, pulled out the, uh, the old one by the snake. That won't make a difference, so they're both identical apart from that spoiler. And just to give you an indication, ladies and gentlemen, we consider uh, the, the, uh, the Krieger can get down about 50 51, the uh, GTO about 51 52. And the Zentor about 53, 54, and that's what we consider to be a competitive time, so let's see what the Reaper can do. Okay, 54.454, so that is a, that is a, a competitive time, ladies and gentlemen. So we brought it up to the sandy shores, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, what sort of cars are we going to put it up against? And if you can't sense my contempt for this vehicle already, then let me, uh, let me, uh, su surprise you, you know. Absolutely loathe this vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. And so we're going to put it up against one vehicle and one vehicle only. That vehicle is the Pegasi Reaper, ladies and gentlemen. $725,000 for the Pegasi Reaper, ladies and gentlemen. That's the vehicle in front there, some considerable way. Disappearing around the corner right now, in fact. Yes, there we go. So yes, you can spend your monies, ladies and gentlemen. You can choose to spend your monies on uh, either a Reaper or a Zentorno. $725,000 for the Zentorno. $1.6 million, ladies and gentlemen, for the Reaper. And you can watch the Zentorno go all the way to the line. Okay, and I know what you're thinking out there, Mr. Raccoon, you're a sodding awful driver, and I won't take that sort of language, so I'm going to take it in again, and you'll actually have to be suffer through a series of these laps, ladies and gentlemen, until I can drive my point home in the most painful way possible. If you choose to go ahead and purchase this vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, you're an absolute moron, you know. 
Okay then, so I should also point out, ladies and gentlemen, by the way that uh, Mr. Raccoon is driving uh, the Pegasi Zen Porno there, ladies and gentlemen, I dare ask him to come out. If you've watched the old Pegasi uh, Reaper video, you might be thinking, well, oh, these are the exact same test laps. Yes, they are. I dare ask the Raccoon to come out to test this vehicle with me, because I know what he'll do. He'll just spend the whole afternoon killing me. You know, he'll be, have an utter contempt for me. Okay, so to uh, to put those naysayers to rest, ladies and gentlemen, I've gone and hopped into the Pegasi Zen Corner. We've put the more proficient driver, Mr. Raccoon, there into the uh, into the Reaper, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the Pegasi Zen Corner, and now we're going to see if a pug can outrun a uh, Raccoon in the Pegasi Zen Corner versus the Reaper. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you were thinking that uh, it was Mr. Raccoon's uh, sort of uh, better driving skills that it was getting him around the uh, the track first, it's a reasonable assumption. But no, actually, ladies and gentlemen, it does turn out that the Pegasi Reaper is significantly faster. Uh, the Pegasi Zen Porno is significantly faster than the Reaper, you know. And as you can see, there's a difference in size as well. The Pegasi Zen Porno is rather larger, it's rather strange, right? you know. More car for your money as well. Uh, they're both nicely styled, though, I have to say. Okay, well, we sort of lined them up, ladies and gentlemen, to, uh, to, uh, to just compare the side comparisons of the car sizes, but we thought, yeah, we'll give it a go, you know. Okay, so, uh, yes, like I say, so uh, that is Mr. Raccoon driving all of the other vehicles, you know. His name is the Bromby. He has a channel of his own. It is called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you should go find it. Why didn't you do that? We've got some rather good videos on there, don't you know? Okay, and so, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely no point in testing this vehicle up against other vehicles. It cannot take down the Pegasi Zen Porno, uh, which means it's not a competitive vehicle. Yes, there'll be vehicles it can take out uh, down there, uh, other vehicles it can take out, but does it really matter, ladies and gentlemen, when its baby sister for less than half the price can outrun it, you know? Why on God's earth would you go and buy a Pegasi Reaper when you can go and uh, buy two Zen Pornos? You know, it doesn't make any sense to me, any sense whatsoever. You know, unless you're trying to fulfill a uh, Pegasi collection, that's why I went and bought mine in the first place. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go and right. Okay, I should have cut this out. Yes, I have to do some uh, spinny spin. There's absolutely no reason for this. Thought I'd cut it out the video here, yeah, so you're going to show what a stupid pug I am. Okay, well, never mind. There we are. Right, okie okay, gogi, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Pegasi Reaper versus the Pegasi Zen Porno, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a thorough disappointment if you go and spend 1.6 million on it, and then it, you know, beaten around the track by a, by a vehicle that costs less than three quarters of a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the review, and Mr. Raccoon's not going to kill me, because this is an old video, and he hadn't got round to, uh, he hadn't got so violent back then, you know, God knows what happened in the between time, he went absolutely crazy. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I have, uh, I have now got, uh, two Pegasi Reapers, you know. Two of them, you know, purchased one a while back for the 1.6 million dollars, and uh, and as you saw, ladies and gentlemen, I went and won one earlier today. You know, it's always the way. You know, the vehicles that I wish to win, ladies and gentlemen, turn up on the podium, the the Pariah and such. Well, we don't really do it, but you know, wouldn't mind another one of those. Uh, never seem to win it. The Pegasi Reaper couldn't give a monkeys. You know, went and won the Sonic thing, and that means there's only one thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to go and sell my old one now and get rid of some money. And as I approach. Yes, I go to Oscar Sanders Customs and some gentleman shoots me down. I go back and try and get my car and he stood right by it. I think I'll hold by the wall, you know, and I sneak around and yes, he wouldn't let me sneak back and I land. I'm holding him hiding by another wall and I'm watching my health there. He just sort of get my leg, but I seem perfectly okay. And then suddenly I'm dead, you know, and that really does uh, really uh, annoy me. So I think, well, I've had enough of this, you know, I'm gonna shoot the chap, you know, shoot him, I miss him, and I think bloody hell, uh, right, okay, but the fool stops, you know, and I get him, and then something rather peculiar happens. He doesn't go down, he sort of runs off, I think, well, that's What's that now? Is that a hack or something? Is it what's got God mode? I got absolutely no idea, you know, but there's only one way to really find that out, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, that's calling a tank now, isn't it? Okay, don't like being shot, ladies and gentlemen. Not going to try and get my car back, you know, because he just keeps shooting me. So there we go, we're going to blow his little face off. There we go, take a tank out of our back, you know. And then, of course, he respawns. I think, well, oh, I'll go and say hello. He said hello to me a couple of times. I'll go and say hello to him yeah, a couple of times as well. And uh, as I get closer, uh, the wretched coward, uh, yes, he bugged the coward he bugs out, doesn't he? Yes. What a what a wretched coward, you know? I hadn't realized I took a shot at him and yes, yes, he does see that so, yeah, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, yes, uh, rather annoying. Either way I get my uh, Reaper back, ladies and gentlemen, my old Reaper, you know, and I take it on down to the custom auto shop. Uh no, I don't think down lost Santos custom, don't I? I go ahead and try and sell it, you know. Right, there we go, and so there we go, a million dollars, you know, paid one point six for it, probably spent another one. 
three quarter of a million dollars at least on upgrading it and I get a million dollars back well, that's not there uh, it's not brilliant but it's not chicken uh, feed ladies and gentlemen it's not chump change I'll certainly take that you know stick it in my back pocket you know they want two reapers for god's sake got one for free I'll go and sell one Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. No raccoon around to kill me, so I may get out of this video alive. I do hope you've enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you very much for watching.